morning. It's 10.23 on Sunrise. You're on Sunrise Radio with me, Shabnam Sahi. It gives me great pleasure to say a big warm welcome to two of CRY's amazing supporters. Ahead of their participation in the CRY Heart of London Bridges Walk this Sunday, the 26th of June, I'm going to be speaking to Surinder Singh and his niece, Sandesh. Surinder and Sandesh, welcome to Sunrise. Thank you. Before we get to specific questions, let me just remind my listeners that CRY is pleased to announce that this year it sees the return of its flagship fundraising event, which is the Heart of London Bridges Walk. It takes place this Sunday, the 26th of June. Supporters from across the UK will once again be able to walk together in person following two years of lockdown rules. This event, it begins at Southwark Park at 11am. It's an 8k round route, passing some of London's most iconic bridges and landmarks. It's a really special way to raise funds for cry and remember the 12 young people in the UK who suddenly die from an undiagnosed heart defect every week. Cry, of course, is a charity partner of Sunrise Radio during 2022. Surinder, let's start with you. Can you tell us a little about your involvement with Cry over the years, how you came to be involved, how the charity has helped your family? So Cry actually reached out to us in 2011 um, after Surinder passed away of sudden adult death syndrome. Um, it was about a month after his death and uh, they contacted us and arranged um, scans for all of our family uh, members to go up to London to meet Professor Shedma. Hmm. So that's when we initially had um, our first contact with Sandesh, let me bring you into the conversation. How many years have you and your fellow family members been taking part in the Cry Bridges Walk? Uh, so the first year we actually participated was in 2012. Hmm. Um, and every year since then, obviously, apart from the two years of COVID. But yeah, we've been participating every year since then. So yeah, it's been a, it's been amazing, actually. This is a very like extraordinary sort of um, thing to participate in each year. So yeah. And since you've had first-hand experience of bereavement, I mean, what does the Cry Bridges Walk mean to you as a family? Yes. So I mean, Cry's. Uh, I mean, the charity as a whole has done some amazing work. So as a family. I mean, it just gives us that chance, especially for the walk, to all come together. And not only as a family as well, I think it's really important to on the day uh, to participate and meet other families, other friends and other uh, you know relatives that have been involved and affected by Cry um, directly. And it's just really good to kind of share experiences and share stories. And obviously Cry have been a big part of that as well. So together we can share our experiences as a family and individually as well. Absolutely, I understand what you're saying. It is about being there for each other and meeting people who've been through the same scenario and therefore they understand your pain, they understand exactly what you're feeling. How important has raising awareness of cry become to you and your wider family? And um, Let me ask uh, uh, Sandesh this first. Oh, it's been massively important. Um, I think we've, we've never actually heard of, of the condition SADS before. Um, my my uncle passed away so it's incredibly important especially if it's affecting 12 12 young people a week so it's a it's a massive um sort of cause and, and we definitely need to spread more awareness because it's not really talked about um so yeah it's definitely read like a wider audience or um just yeah just to be spoken about more i think and so everyone is aware of sort of what what the symptoms are and what you can do to sort of prevent it so Yes, it's massively important. Is there a message that you'd like to share with our listeners who might not be familiar with CRY and the work that it does uh, to prevent sudden cardiac death uh, in young people? Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, uh, again, you know, you, you can't literally underestimate uh, and can't undervalue the CRY uh, you know, work that they do. It's massively, massively uh, kind of important to get involved in something, especially if you don't know something, you, you know, and CRY really makes that simple. They make the outreach and the contact so easy. I mean, it's not just a kind of a, a you know, a, it's a very, very morbid subject of death anyway. Mm. But, um, you know, to get involved in it and to raise awareness and to hopefully the ultimate aim is to kind of prevent so much, you know, young loss uh, in, in the future and obviously get a screening program possibly set up and cry, you know, are uh, really pushing towards that. So, if you can find out about cry, get involved as well. And uh, again, come to the walk and, uh, and, listen to people's experiences. I'm in conversation with Surinder Singh and his niece Sandesh, two of Cry's amazing supporters, ahead of their participation in the Cry Heart of London Bridges Walk, which takes place this Sunday on the 26th of June. Naturally, people are excited because A, it raises funds for an extremely important charity, B, because people would finally get to do this in person after two years of lockdown rules. Do you feel that awareness of young sudden cardiac death could be better within the British Asian community? I think awareness with any condition that you you, you don't have much kind of uh, education on uh, or, or awareness of is always a good thing. I think CRI pushed that out really, really wide to the wider audience. But 
personally speaking, of um, of uh, of SADS itself and within the greater, wider Asian community, it's like my niece um, Sandesh just said. I mean, you know, we didn't know anything about the, uh, you know, without the the condition of SADS before uh, hmm. my brother passed away. It gave us then the impetus and then the, you know, the, the kind of the excuse almost to go and find out about sudden adult death syndrome. You know, as, as Asians, generally speaking, uh, you know, we don't tend to kind of find out about, you know, kind of this sort of thing until it affects us, you know, personally, or we know, we hear of something. Um, so I, I think that, you know, as Asians, we should get out there more and, and find out about these conditions, not only to, to, to prevent, uh, but also to help others as well in our experience as well. Uh, because sometimes, again, you know, if we're talking Asian community, uh, we can't, you know, we tend to kind of hide these things away and brush them under the carpet or ignore them. Yes. But we found that over the over the years, uh, talking not just to our family, of course, that's helped us all massively as a family. But sharing our experiences either on bereavement days, the cry run, or either just talking to people, even for five or ten minutes on the walk itself, and listening to other people's experiences, really, really kind of enhances, you know, that 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 kind of experience a little bit more. Well, yeah, hundred percent agree with, with everything uh, my uncle said. Um, I think. Following on with his, um, when he said that we often as Asians sort of hide away from sort of to be subjects like that, I think Cry, like you said, offer so many different opportunities and organisations hmm. and sort of different events to, to help you get involved and to talk about it and sort of um, and it sort of share the burden essentially. Um, so yeah, no, definitely, I, I agree 100% with what he said. It's- now, Sandesh, of course, the reason why you are participating in the Cry Heart of London Bridges Walk this Sunday is to raise funds. I believe you've got a uh, Just Giving page uh, set up. Would you like to tell our listeners what the link is, should they wish to contribute uh, to this uh, fantastic cause? Of course, yes, yeah. It's um, www.justgiving.com forward slash fundraising forward slash SK Digpal, which is S K D I G P A L www.justgiving.com forward slash fundraising forward slash S-K-D-I-G-P-A-L Surinder Singh and Sandesh thank you so much for giving us your time and thank you for sharing your stories with us on Sunrise Thank you You're very very welcome Can I just also say that you know obviously it's the the wider audience like Sunrise Radio that helps obviously reach not only Asians but the wider audience greatly I mean Cry whatever they Cry do they, they do it amazingly well but it's with the help of Sunrise Radio and other media that that message gets, you know, kind of put out to a, a whole wider audience, especially obviously with the British Asians as well. So thank you very much as well for having us. Thank you so much. I yeah. hope it's a beautiful day on Sunday. I hope you enjoy your London Bridges walk and I hope you end up raising a lot of money. Thank you so much. 